Welcome to the Hacker Podcast. Thank you for joining us. As most of you know, the traditional setup is either Greg conducting an interview or speaking about a particular topic. However, this episode is going to be a bit different. For the one year episode, we're going to remember the past, take stock of what the podcast has now become, and focus on future plans. But, Greg, I have a surprise for you. What? You got a surprise for me? I do. For this episode? Yeah. What is it? I know within the notes, you said uh, we're about three YouTube subscribers away from 100. Yeah, I sent that to you last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, as of this morning, we actually hit that milestone of 100 subscribers. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll send you the invoice for $10. (laughs) (laughs) How many accounts did you create (laughs) to get Uh, us to 100? (laughs) Seven. Somehow I lost four. (laughs) Oh, man. That's awesome. That's so great. Thank you all for subscribing, joining the channel. We're trying to grow that up and, and, and get that uh, bigger and better. And we'll talk about that a little bit later in this episode. But yeah, this is a different type of episode. Where we're just going to go through some of the things that uh, the growth that we've experienced on the podcast, as well as talk about some past episodes and um, you know, excited to chat about it. Also want to apologize for our voices. Uh, we've been struggling the last week or so with different <laughs> sicknesses. So if I sound deep um, or uh, cracky, that's we're getting over something. But I think all of Sydney has got the flu of some sort at the moment. I was just shouting last night or oh, this morning because right. of the hundreds. Because of the hundreds. Yeah, that's <laughs> all it was. It was just a celebration. <laughs> Celebrating. Well, just to go over uh, some of the key milestones that we've experienced over the last year. We're up to 67 of the fully produced episodes, so we have those uh, closing words. Those are just snippets of the the last little bit of the episode, but we actually have 67 episodes. This will be number 68. We've produced a show every week, so pretty proud of about that. It's it can it can be a grind yeah. across 52 weeks <laughs> in a year, um, but we were able to get one out every single week, and we've had guests from all over Australia, the U.S., Canada, the U.K., New Zealand, Fiji. Singapore and Indonesia. So, you know, we're a worldwide podcast with, with worldwide guests. And yeah. I, I love that aspect of it, that we bring in perspectives from all over the world. We're up to 16,000 audio downloads. So those of you who listened to the end of year one, after six months, I think we were at like 600 total downloads. That included YouTube. But now we're at 16,000 just audio downloads and nearly 3,000 views on YouTube. The last few months, we've actually been averaging over 500 downloads a week. And last week, we had our second biggest ever week for audio downloads, which to me is a bit wild because we have been pushing the video content and yeah. people are watching the video content, yeah. but the audios keep keep going up. So that's awesome. Right. So thank you guys for downloading the show um, and yeah, continuing to listen to it as well as watch it. The podcast has been listened to in 41 different countries including countries like Fiji, Albania, Timor-Leste, which I'm super excited about that one, <laughs> and uh, the UAE and Brazil. Yeah. So we're, I think we're in pretty much every continent. We listen to in Africa as well. Um, the top five countries that listen to the podcast, obviously number one is, what would you guess? Timor-Leste? No, <laughs> Australia. Yeah, obviously Australia. So Australia, number one. We're number one in the hearts of Australians. Uh, this week, we're actually ranked 65th in the entire oh, yeah. country uh, for Christian podcasts. So in, in, on Apple Podcasts. So on Apple Podcasts, they have a category called Christianity, and we were actually ranked 65th. And that includes podcasts from America. So that, that's whatever wow. Australians are listening wow. to. We are ranked 65th in the Christianity category. So pretty stoked about that. Yeah. Uh, number two would be the United States, represent. <laughs> and then we've got Canada, Singapore, and Denmark that have been listening to the show. And we actually appear on the Apple Podcast rankings in Fiji, Latvia, Singapore, and New Zealand. So we, we get into the top 100 or top 200 in those countries every week or so. Uh, Fiji, we pretty much stay there. Latvia, we pretty much stay there. But some of the other ones are in and out. Yeah. So what do you think are our top five most downloaded episodes? If you had to guess, what would you say is number one? Number one? Uh, I'm going to go with Pastor Stan. Pastor Stan Harvey. Close. You're very close. Okay. So we'll go from five to one. We'll, we'll count, count down. We'll do a countdown. Okay. All right. So coming in at number five. Yeah. 
episode 14 with Steph Hackathorn. Ooh. So the wife, she comes in at number five. Uh, pretty proud of her, you know. We've yeah, had yeah. a lot of really great guests on the show, and uh, people love her, love listening to that episode. Yeah. Number four, episode 49 with Bishop John Downs, former general superintendent of Australia. Episode three, or sorry, not episode three, coming in at number three, is episode 20 with evangelist Christopher Green. Uh, I've heard a lot of great feedback about that one. Number two, which is the one you guessed, mm. is episode nine so with close. Pastor Stanley Harvey. So close, so close. But then number one is episode 17 with Luami Diaz. And actually, uh, Luami Diaz has agreed to come back on the show. We were in the works of getting that situated, but he's had to move, and he's had a lot on his plate the last couple of months, but yeah. we're just in the process of getting that organized to record it. We're going to talk about one of his uh, most recent sermons. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of, of what's been going on here and the growth that we've experienced over the last year. I wanted to share that with, with you all uh, and celebrate some wins that we've had. Yeah, and Greg, uh, this week you sent out a poll on Instagram and Facebook mm -hmm. basically asking, well, not necessarily a poll, but just a question in general, asking what everyone's favorite episode was, right? Yeah. Um, well, a favorite on there was Chris Green. Oh, of course. That and was a great one. That's a, yeah. yeah, that was a good one as well. Yeah. Uh, and other ones were with Steph and Greg Wilmot, who both are going to be coming on a future episode that's in the plans. Yeah, looking forward to having Steph back on. And obviously, uh, Greg Wilmot, he always does a great job. Yeah. We, we shared his story, and then he also came back on to talk about health and wellness. And, and that one was really well received. I, yeah. I got a lot of good feedback about that. And I know... Most of us actually enjoy the conversations. As far as me, like when I yeah. listen to podcasts, I really like conversations, not necessarily the monologue type ones. Right. Um, but I was really grateful to hear that a number of you really enjoyed the Holders of the Rope yeah. episode that we did a few weeks ago. And actually had a bunch of people talk to me about that. And, and it was mentioned on that question. So that was really cool. What has been your favorite episode so far? Probably the holders of the rope. I was in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I personally loved uh, your first episode with, with Steph. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, seeing you guys work together, especially, you know, with the beginning of the Hacker Podcast. Mm. Uh, you guys are such a, you know, power couple. <laughs> Cliche, right? But yeah. uh, no, I, I love seeing, love seeing it. And it was, it was an amazing conversation you guys had. Yeah, she, she's great, man. Yeah. What was yours? So... I've had a couple, um, but I would say probably if I had to pick one, I, mean, I love a lot of them. Yeah. Um, but if I had to pick one, it'd probably be the one with Brother Harold Hoffman. Uh, uh, he's been someone I've looked up to for for a number of years. And just to be able to talk to him about preaching and then obviously the revelation that he shared in that episode was just really cool. So yeah. that, was de that was definitely like a, a lifetime highlight for me. So yeah, I don't yeah. really think there's many that would be able to to beat that one but yeah i think that one's my favorite even though i've enjoyed having everyone on the podcast <laughs> so <laughs> it's like picking your favorite child right right you know? yeah and then um, when you force me to pick it then i guess actually i, I have to pick so. yeah well i got other questions for you all right what, what are some other ones you got for yeah. me uh so what sparked the idea of starting the hacker podcast i talked about this a little bit at the national youth convention yeah uh, I, sh I talked about the podcast there here in Australia. Um, I th the idea, I think, was just, I love podcasts. I love listening to podcasts. You know, I, I talk to you about them all the time, all different types of podcasts. And um, I had a blog that I've been doing for a number of years. I still have it with my brother, Mike. He, he mm -hmm. writes on that as well. And he's come on the podcast a number of times. He'll be back on soon for one of our Hacka combos. But um, the idea was really sparked by, I just love podcasts. Um, I thought it would be a great medium to, to share some biblical insight as well as like a lot of uh, like structural stuff, stuff that I do as an administrator, trying yeah. to share some tips and, and best practices and that sort of stuff. So it was really that. And I have to credit you because <laughs> you brought a mic with you from America when you, when you moved to Australia. Oh, yeah. And like my barrier of entry was always, I don't have a proper mic, so I can't <laughs> record <laughs> and then you brought that mic. It's like, well, I guess I have a mic now. So, and then I was locked in my house for four months <laughs> because of the COVID lockdown. But to be fair, I, I had actually 
recorded a couple podcasts before that lockdown yeah. took place. So it was in the works, but I think the lockdown really helped me to like solidify to make sure that it was a weekly thing. Yeah. Because I have a habit of starting things and, and not uh, pushing through it. So yeah, that was, uh, I guess, to make a long story long, um, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the spark. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I've only, see, I've seen you, you know, I've only started helping, but I've seen you from the beginning, right? Yeah. Um, and I know, you know, with it so hard being consistent, mm. how how did you stay committed? You know, you mentioned that it helped being locked in your house. Yeah, but yeah. you were a year later, mm. and you're still, you know, pulling out mm. a a one episode per week sort of thing. Yeah, well, before I dive into that, I just want to give you credit because you've helped a lot with the video aspect of this and, and you have a lot more knowledge than I do in that retrospect. So it's been great having you on and, and you're, I've had so many people talk about like, you know, the different perspective that you bring and as well as like, you know, you, you really make the video podcast happen. So yeah. I'm grateful to have you all along for the ride. Um, but, you know, I guess the, the way I was able to get through it is... Um, I'd heard at the very beginning, this guy, uh, another podcast I listened to, I think it's called Modern Wisdom, and he was talking about st- statistically, if you produce 20 episodes, you're in like the top 5% of the entire world when it comes to podcasts. Wow. So I was just thinking to myself, well, that's a goal, that's an attainable goal that I can shoot for, and that will maybe help me to maintain consistency. So I think when I got through maybe like 10 or 12 episodes, It was getting a bit difficult, but also like episode 17, I think was with Brother Luame Diaz. And and then I think episode 20 was actually with Brother Chris Green. So I had some really awesome guests there right around that time. And that really propelled me forward. Um, But it's just really, you make a commitment. And I had a lot, you know, um, it's not a huge podcast, it's growing. But I've had so many people talk about how much it means to them. So I feel like I might be letting people down if, if I don't produce one. You yeah. know? So I think that helps as well, that accountability of having a, an, a listening audience that actually cares about the podcast. So shout out to you guys for, <laughs> for tuning in every week. You really help us on the editing side of this push through you know, any roadblocks that we might have. But yeah, nice. I, think that, I think that's about it. Yeah, and, and, and your commitment allows us to look to the future. And with that being said... What what is the future of this podcast? What are, what what are we what are we going to look forward to? Um, we just started introducing audio the last, or sorry, video the last couple months, and uh, the reason we put that on the back burner. I wanted to do it from the beginning, but the reason I had to put that on the back burner was uh, because I don't think anybody wanted to watch just me. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number two, uh, because of our housing situation, we we bought property. We're we're waiting to build the house, and it's yeah. been like a two year saga with with COVID and all that with the restrictions. So we're kind of waiting for that house to be built. And then once we've got that built, um, we're going to have a a permanent sort of studio. We're recording this in your house (laughs) and, uh, in our apartment. apartment, Yeah. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully have like a proper studio there in the house. My wife's approved it. So Steph has approved it. It'll be in the garage, not in the actual house, (laughs) (laughs) but Hey, Space is space. So, yeah. um, we'll just so, open the garage door for lighting. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have uh, we'll have a permanent space there. We're going to continue to try and develop the video aspect of this as we've just gotten started. Yeah. Um, we want to have more in person conversations. I just feel like those uh, they're just so nice, you know. Yeah. And uh, we have a bunch of really good, you know, smart people yeah. uh, that, that we can have on the podcast talk about different subjects. And also people who are new to the podcast, sharing their story in person. We're going to continue the online ones. Um, so that, that'll keep happening. We'll have guests from around the world as well. And then uh, Steph and I are kind of floating this idea of a possible series on uh, marriage, like a couple of episodes around marriage where we'll interview couples yeah. from you know maybe here in Australia, around the world uh, about marriage and specific on that. So not really sure about that. That's kind of just getting floated around. But yeah, yeah um, we're excited about the future. We've got a lot of things lined up yeah. and we just got to find the time to do it. You forgot <laughs> the name change. Not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll review that. <laughs> I'll add that to the list. <laughs> yeah, add that to the list. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Well, thank you guys for joining us for this celebration of the one-year episode. It, it's It's been a journey. 
and Greg to, you know, change things up a bit, right? You know, I just wanted to give you the, the opportunity to have a, a, your closing word. You know? <laughs> give me a closing word. All right, well, a closing <laughs> word for the first, two, first 52 weeks of the Hacker Podcast. We just want to finish up by saying a massive thank you to all of you, yes. all of you who watch, uh, those who are listening. Thank you so much for joining the show, um, for liking, for sharing, for reviewing it. I know that takes some time and effort to do that, and we want to thank you for that, and for the comments, sharing it with your friends and family. We're so grateful for all of you, and, and also to our guests who have joined us on the show. Um, you know, Thank you for trusting us with your story, for uh, being vulnerable and humble, and I know so many of our listeners and, and now viewers are grateful for, for our guests who do make themselves vulnerable, who do come on the show, and are just wonderful examples to each and every one of us. Um, Finally, I just want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen to the podcast and for allowing us to become a part of your lives every week. Those of you who listen to us regularly, thank you so much. We are excited uh, with what God has already done with the podcast, but we are looking forward to what he is going to do in the weeks and the months ahead. So thank you again, guys. So with that... I'll see you next time on the Hacker Podcast.